All right, so I'm going to work on the giraffe project out of the acrylic animals. I'm not going to religiously stick to the color wave. And I am going to use some uh, jelly printed collage papers on it too, just to vary it up a little bit. I'm going to pull up a uh, chat on my phone. I guess I need to follow my own channel. Let me pull that up and let everybody get in. If you're watching the recording, um, um, fast forward. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Mindy. So I just found it. It's a little easier when we do the stream yards. I've seen that I can see better the chat on the phone, similar to what Vicky does. I also have a new book to show. Colleen's going to like this book. I got it used, so it's not like a new book. Um, it's called Painting Animal Friends by Jean Filler Scott. And she's got like a little gallery. Then... She the same typical, you know, like she's talking about the materials, mixing colors when she begins, brush strokes, backgrounds, finding animal subjects, getting references. Then she's got one. Cat with step outs, a lot of step outs on it. A second kitty with step outs. The sketch on that one's a little scary. And then again, very, de you know, like detailed. She's got the colors. She's got the sketch. She has the step outs. This is the third cat, a fourth cat, a Tay Tay. Then she goes into dogs. So she's got one, a Dalmatian. A mixed breed, two, a Jack Russell, Rus a Jack Russell Terrier. Colleen, we need to do this one. It's Bandit. And then there's a Yorkshire Terrier. And then a golden retriever. So that's five dogs. Then she has horses, which I know Colleen's going to be excited about too. These are nice horse ones. So she's got a thoroughbred just standing. These also could be like good if you wanted to put like a horse in the background of a watercolor, not be the whole focus. Then she's got a Shetland pony. Then a draft horse, and it's at a different, it's more head on. And then a foal. I like the foal. And again, it's that more uh, head on three quarter angle. And then there's a painted horse. And I kind of like the, the movement on the body on this one. Yeah, horse would be fun to do. I like this horse. Um, and that's the one, the one at the beginning of the chapter, but she's got step outs, then it's cattle. So she's got a calf, a cow's head, a bull, a log. Then there's a Holstein. Then she's got a pig. I don't think Colleen has this book. Colleen needs to get it. A pair of chicks. Domestic ducks. Another pig. Or actually, this is the pig, the breakdown of the pig. It's the same pig. A rooster. And that's the end. 
So like I said, I got it on Amazon and I bought a used copy. So I did not pay very much for it. Painting Animal Friends by Jean Filler Scott. So I'm real, real pleased with it. So I think Colleen needs this book. Because look, you're two of your favorite things right there. All right. So I'm just going to set the book. We watched Colleen. So I'm just going to set the book for the giraffe part. Um, I use that for my sketch. You'll notice when she's painting, it's this way. And then at the end, it's flipped. So I don't know if they flipped the photograph image because it was more pleasant to have it turn the other way. I'm going to, I'm not going to do the underpainting. I don't think a whole lot, but I am going to do those similar colors and I jelly printed several papers. So I have just some ink spots and then I have ink spots and paint. And then I have a scrapbook paper with some metallic. I thought I would, they're clipped together. <clears throat> I thought I would, when I cut them, cut all of them and decide I may not use the same ones. Right now I'm leaning towards the ink spots and the, the actual jelly print that I did. Um, I do like some of the scrapbook paper too. So I thought we could choose that later. Hi, Lori, Norma coming in that I miss Kat, Amy, Josie. Yeah, Lori, you didn't sleep very well last night. You said, and dot Mindy, Shauna, Anyone in the background watching, not talking, welcome. All right, so I'm going to set the book over here. In case, and I probably will use some of the Posca paint pens, but mostly I'm going to use, I'm going to start out with the, uh, I'm going to use the Deco Arts Media Line. I just want to use some of these up. They're getting... Some of them are mine. Some of them are the ones Shauna sent me. But they're getting kind of gunky. So they need I need to use them. And I'm going to go a little gray. See, like a lot of the lids. Like that Titan buff is way too liquid. All right. Go with a little bit. See, and that was a lot of binder. Trying to get some of the brown. There we go. Because that's gray. With a binder in it. I wanted to get kind of a taupe color going. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this opaque white because that Titan buff's a little too thin right now. Because I want to, I want to be able to lighten it in areas and darken it. Kind of vary the background. Oh, did Mary do another marathon last night? 
Ooh, I was going to crash, and then I ended up sketching the giraffe and then getting kind of a second wind. And I watched some TV. School has been, first couple days were tough. It's not that the kids are bad, because they've been really pretty good. The main thing is, you've got, we have a right around 180 kids who know how to open their locker. Most of them can't figure out their schedule and where they're supposed to go because it's new school. They're not used to trading classes like that. I think I'm just going to put in a base and then come back. But when you got like 40 kids out in the hall trying to ask you to help them open their lockers every 90 minutes or they can't figure out what to bring to class or where to go. It makes it exhausting. Just saying. I'll keep this darker on the top part, I think. And I'm trying to do some like X's and so there's all some deliberate strokes in there. Okay. Come in with the other side and kind of put in a base. On this one, to me, her background looked very um, kind of like an oil painting. Like I said, once I get them in the room, then it's no problem. But the, what's exhausting right now, what is funny was one of the ladies that I teach with has been, you know, like, Saying, oh, we can't let them disable their lockers and don't they they need to learn how to use their combination. Well, she was not at the beginning of school. So like she hasn't been there at the beginning when they don't know how to use it. And so the other day she was like, I'm about ready to say yes, disable your locker. And I thought that was sort of ironic that she now kind of understood when they went and pulled the pencils of the disabled lockers, suddenly they had all these kids that couldn't open their locker. They stick a pencil in them to disable them. Are you getting an early fall, Joan? Because 
Isn't it early to be using the heat? For y'all? We are not. It was like a hundred and eight. Or felt like a hundred and eight. The other day, I guess. I think it was 104 is what the top was. Okay, let's. some of that lighter color kind of mixed in in here. more of that umber. What are we saving the eggshells for? I mean, I know, but I don't know. Like, what project specifically? All right, Colleen, I don't know if you were here. Were you here earlier when I showed this book? You need to get this book. There's a Jack Russell Terrier. There's a sketch. There's five horses, five dogs, four 
or five cats, pigs, and it's got great step outs. But look, there's a great sketch for a Jack Russell Terrier, and then we could paint it. Yeah, I bought it used on Amazon. So it's Painting Animal Friends by Jean Filler Scott. So I didn't pay very much. I know I paid less than $10. Normally $25 originally. But I know I didn't pay that. So you need that book, girlfriend. This kind of looks like floral background to me. In fact, I could almost add a little bit of a green in there. Mix it with some of that white. All right, I like that, but I want some want some dark green. So let's take the same green. Let me find the sap green. the sap green and add to that. We'll add the dark in first. And there it is.
add some uh, white in places. Need more white. Okay, that looks good right there. Just get trying to get some spots that are sort of dark and light. And if I let them kind of dry. I want to wash my brush real quick. Then I'm going to go back in with some lights. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Kind of looks like greenery. That he's in the greenery. All right. All right so I'm going to take some yellow and add some yellow out, mainly with that white. Yep, everybody's quiet. Okay, I need more white. I want to look at the
Kind of paste that in. Got a little green in that, which is fine. Right now I'm going to come in with a little darker yellow in the areas on the sides and then come with another brush and kind of dry brush it out just to want to make it brighter on the edges sort of. I'm going to flip this over real quick. Got a dry brush. Blend that out. Okay, and then I think kind of like that yellow. On the edges, brighter. Okay, then I'm going to pick up some green. And darken that green just a little bit in the ears. I think I'm going to add some green up in here. And some green. Here. Right, I'm gonna clean that brush. Right, I'm gonna grab some of that white and try to blend those two out. I need more white. And this brush is pretty dry. And this is an old brush, so I don't care if I like torque, you know, really work. Pick up a little 
little more of the bright yellow. And I lost a little bit of that. And I'm going to come in and pick up a little bit more of that green. Okay, so I kind of like that because I like that that's starting to give some of that depth. Get a little more yellow back in here. some of that green in the middle here. Let me come back with some of the yellow on top of it. kind of blend the white Try not to cover up too much of my spots because I'm going to glue on them. Okay. So I think we're good with that. Let's wash that brush too. Now we need to get some of the pink and the burgundy in there. All right, so I'm gonna use that white that I have there. And I have acronym magenta, and I don't know which one I wanna use. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of both and get some white. Come over here. Okay. Okay, and put a little violet in it too. Maybe. I think it's got a, it needs a red. Okay, let's try to 
quinacridone red. Okay, and some of, like I said, some of this is paper. So I'm not too worried. I'm just trying to get a base right now in there. I'm just going to go ahead and go over that entire thing and let it dry. And then come back. Let's see. And I'm going to come in with some pink here. Okay, I'm gonna clean that. Yeah, it's kind of like leaves. It's not what I really thought I was gonna do, but when I started, I start getting that taupe, it started looking like leaves to me. So then I was, thought that the green was a natural. All right, so I need some more white in here. The other thing I want is a little vermilion because it's too pink for me. Oh, that's what I need. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So I want to start with some. white more in there. So I'm going to take that other scruffy brush and just sort of try to I'll lighten that because it's too pink in there. And this isn't going to end up being pink in the end, but.
It was too Pepto-Bismol pink. Right, I'm trying to get darker. We're going to go even more magenta in there. Clean that up. Get that brush out of my hand. Yeah, we get it all filled yeah. up and. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I still have to pull it up. Oh. It's hella crazy over the car wash. Oh. It's a good day to go, though. It's going to be a good deal. Hey, are you streaming? Yes. Yeah. Honey? All right, then I'm just coming back with some of the white again. Trying to blend. It's too much white. Here we go. That's better. I just got it wet and pulled back some to the yellow with a paper towel.
we use look at that no sort of back in there add some purple in here and then kind of dry brush it with a damp brush actually I'm just using water to move some of that kind of lighten it. I don't care that the gray is disappearing. Anyways. Okay, and then it's got kind of a purpley color. I want to put some paint pen on the table and grab some white and add to that paint pen to get me a lavender. It's under the eyes. Put that in there, let that kind of dry. Um, it's under this nose. Get the mouth back in there, and I have some dioxine purple. Some there it goes just quiet and chat. I've been talking. Just not necessarily loud, maybe. Focused. Okay. 
putting some of that darker purple in there. And then we'll come back in with some white again. Just trying to get out like a variated. Pour that darker magenta out. I think I need to kind of define that a little more. And I think this needs to be defined more. And then blended. Hi, Kathy. Try to soften that kind of. Okay. And come in with. today, Kathy, but I resisted. I found them on Amazon for 60 on Prime. And so the joggle shipping so high. Hi, Jean. Yeah, I saw that on your feed that you had to undo.
Okay, I'm going to get some of that. Let's see if I get some of that green back. Or yellow. Okay. Let's put in the eye, which we might All right, put all those up and get them off the table. Leave the white and the blues. I think I'm done with the dark, seeing purple, but I may still need it. All right, Jean. Keep trying to put my hand. all of that. Okay. 
And then that'll dry that a little bit while we're doing this. What time is it? Okay, I'm doing good on time. I have to be done by five ish. Okay. So let's put the glue on now and glue his spots on. And then we'll come in with the paint markers and add our little accent colors. Uh, buffering a lot. I need next, I'm going to use StreamYard and see if that doesn't help keep the buffering down. This first one I'd already cut. I'm gonna start, let me get my other scissors. I think they'll be easier to use. I'm just going to start at the bottom. When I did my pattern, I did it on tracing paper. And then I just did this on white paper so that I could cut several jelly prints at one time. And I'm just going to cut out a couple of them from the bottom. And we can pick which print we like best from the three that I have. So for this one, it's got to be that. But this one can be a little of both. I'm going to go with the darker one over here again. All right, so. Sort of stick them on. Right, then I'm going to go to my next one. And all these scraps could. On this one, I'm going to use one of these lighter ones here. If I had planned it, I could have done three drafts at one time. This one needs to be dark. that up. Okay, I'm going to go with one of these. I'll probably save my scraps and do maybe some little 
like collage. Actually, I'm going to change this out and I'm going to switch this one out too. And these papers are made on my jelly plate. One was scrapbook paper that had acrylics on it. One was just alcohol inks. One was a mixture of alcohol ink. Here. I know it's buffering, sorry. Almost done with the neck. I think this darker paper looks better there with the glue dry all on there. I'm not going to worry about all those little pieces because I got to get them out of my way.
one of those. I'm not sure which yet. That's two copper. Two, I don't care for it. But I am going to get rid of some of that extra paper. The paper on my finger there. These are little. Okay, get rid of all of this. And we'll start on this side. All right, so I've got three pieces cut. All right, that works. This one. Oh. 
Okay, and then there's a couple more. On that side. Go with the lighter colored one right there. Thank you, Joan. paper feels too thick, but I'm going to put it there. I'm going to make it work. Some of these pieces are getting really small, so I gotta be really careful when I let go. Gel over. There. All right, I think this is the one I got to use up here. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I use StreamYard, if the buffering wouldn't be gone because we're getting more and more of it. Okay, now I think I need to work here because I've kind of painted over some of my marks. Yeah, StreamYard seems to eliminate, so I should have used it. I just, was not I don't know. Then we're gonna get more of like an arch over the eyebrow. 
kind of Okay, then there's this eye. Let's do this eye. That's good. I almost think this is would be a little bit better with this one. All right, we've got one more of the eyebrows. Thanks, CB. It's tedious, but I think it's going to pay off. So that's all. I'm gonna clean up paper real quick again. I really should put a trash can down next to me, then I could just push trash on the in the trash can instead of reaching. Okay, so these go in here. Sorry, guys, I know I'm.
Oops. Another one. Okay, this is I think I switched them. Is what happened. I think the sides got switched. Fingers are getting super sticky. Almost done. Last piece I'm going to kind of keep together. So no matter where we take the Poscas or the okay. get rid of glue. Let's try this just a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat down.
but I'm going to start at the bottom. Give some of these a little bit of an outline with the pit pen and smear it. Now I'm going to take the bright blue and put the blue down the side. Thanks, Devin. Not sure I like the pink pen. Okay, I have some blue paint and some white sitting here. I think I'm going to come in with the brush. I'll turn it so I can get a I don't know, Eileen. It's going to be a girl. Let's just face it, it probably is. Some of that brighter blue down in there. All right. Turn it so I can see it. Sorry. Let's 
Let's take and put some. Purple in here. I'm just looking for where she's got blues and Oh, that was not good. All right, just a second. I need a white. I don't know where that came from. Like it must come from my hand, paper towel. I have blue on my hand that could end the brush. Let me uh, take a little bit of clean white and come in. And then we'll come in with a little bit of this pit pin and kind of get that to be pink again. I'm back to think. I'm going to hit that with some more purple. And kind of blend that. Let's hit this with a little bit of purple too. Soften that. Sort of. Okay, I don't know if I like that. Let's, let's try a brown. in here with the 
purple under the eyes. We need the white highlight. Found an extra piece of paper. There we go. I'm going to hit some of these edges of these papers with brown because it just will blend better. And the purple too. here with this. Back. I'll flip this around. I think it needs some more. Needs some yellow. Let me get the yellow. Some areas with like white and yellow. And the white because it'll make it more opaque. more yellow. Mm. 
just trying to add some of those highlights and low lights and A little bit of dioxine purple, too, maybe here and there. I'm just looking at the book, trying to see where I could enhance. Thank you, Norma. All right. I'm still trying to hide some of those. blue spots and blemishes. Okay.
Hi, Ify. more white because I'm liking this really light blue white in areas Has anybody seen Joycey lately? Is she okay? I haven't seen her in. I mean, but I know I went back to school, so I could just be. She's been busy. Okay, I really like the giraffe. Night dot. Night John. I think I'm done. I think I like I'm not sure I like her with the background, to be honest. But I'm done. She needs a name. Did you come up with a name for her yet, Eileen? I think the light blue helped a lot. Let's see what she does with a uh, mat. There's a signature. Augusta. It's not too. Okay, now that match really ruined. Because I got pain all over here. Oh, wow. It was already. I had a blemish on it. I'll just paint it black. Or a 
metallic. I clean my fingers. Okay. You know what I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with Sophie because that was my grandma's name. And Colleen named hers, and that reminded her of her grandma. So I'm going to go with Sophie. And I gave her a little heart for the eye. And then I'm going to try. It's going to be, it doesn't show up very well, but I put a little pink in that heart. Yeah, we are partial to Sophie, aren't we? That's Kathy's. Put a little bit of that brighter pink in there coming down in a few places. I think that helped pop some of that. Put just a little bit of a variegated eyelash. All right. So if she had a clean mat, not a dirty mat, I think she's ready. Color done, and it's be it's five thirty. So I gotta go because I gotta get dressed. I'm supposed to be meeting someone, or they're supposed to come here. But I'm running late, and I'm still in my pajamas. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the stream.
Thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all at best later. Well, you can always go back and name it, Terry. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I am going to switch to Sunday next weekend and try Sunday probably around between 12 and 1 Central. I'm thinking about 1230, not Central. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about 1230 Eastern, sort of, somewhere in that range. But I'll tweet. 